Weapon variety is why a lot of people play Tarkov, and myself included. Being able to take a gun and customize it with a large array of attachments and get similar performance is what keeps me playing the game for long periods of time with no wipe. And while some weapons have more ways of making them interesting than others, one weapon, above all else, still reigns supreme in the competition for the most modular weapon, the Colt M4, a weapon that has been in Tarkov since its earliest incarnations. But now, with so many more attachments added to the game and this gun specifically, it really has become kind of a blank canvas. Anything you can dream up, you can pretty much recreate here in Tarkov. Now, to be fair, there is a conversation to be had about weapon attachments in general and how they are poorly balanced, but perhaps we'll save that conversation for another video. In the meantime, I want to go over the M4 and talk about some builds that I've been running for years now. To get straight to the point, none of these builds are min-maxed at all. There's only one way to do that, and I've never been a fan of how that version of the M4 looks. So, while these definitely will not be best in slot, they are still just as serviceable and look cooler, so do with that what you will. Also, one more point to note. All these builds will be using level 4 traders for the parts, meaning every M4 in this video will have the MUR upper receiver as well as the advanced buffer tube equipped to the gun. Now this wipe, they decided to make the MUR upper shouldn't be purchasable until after you complete the guide, which means you need wet job part 6 done to be completed, and level 7 sniper skill. So, most people won't be running the MUR receiver on their guns, but don't worry, most of these handguards that I showcase are still compatible with the normal M4 upper, it just won't have as good stats. 1% recoil on the normal upper, and 4% on the MUR upper. Unfortunately, these are pretty much non-negotiable if you want an M4 to actually be really accurate, so if you don't have these two core components, your M4 might behave very differently even if you match the weapon build part for part everywhere else. So apologies if this is a little misleading, I genuinely forgot about this change until I was making guns for this video, and some handguards just don't work with some of the other uppers on offer for the M4. The first build is a classic and simple design that has been buildable since the early alpha days. I really like how simple and clean the gun looks. Nothing fancy, just a simple suppressor and a holographic. Nice and easy. And the shorter barrel length is particularly potent for CQC situations, while only sacrificing a single point in vertical recoil compared to the longer barrels. And you get 6 extra ergo for the gun as well, which there is an argument that ergo doesn't really matter because every gun readies from sprint at the same time, but still. It's important. Here's the build and the shopping list. Just a disclaimer, none of these guns are going to be cheap. Usually M4 builds get pricey very quickly, which is a shame because running this gun on a budget is not necessarily a great idea. It's doable if you really temper your expectations, but it'll be rough. Either way, this build is one I can always come back to because of its simplicity yet overall effectiveness. If you want a little bit more range, you can of course swap out the holographic for whatever ranged optic you like. The gun still works great. The next build is a little different, offering some color to the weapon in the form of OD green attachments. In addition, the LCAN scope feels very comfortable on the M4, especially when employed with tap shooting from a safe distance in mind. An added laser helps with point fire for those who might be uncomfortable with the LCAN's 1x scope, using it as a pseudo red dot. If you wanted to run a flashlight as well, you can of course swap out the tactical device for whatever your general preference is. Here's the build and the shopping list, and while you definitely can put the laser on the bottom of the gun, I am personally a really big fan of when you're able to put the laser on the top rail and have it not get in the way when you ADS with your scope. It looks great and usually lines up pretty well when you ADS with the laser on. Just one of those smaller details that makes the gun feel more tactical than anything else really. This one is for the tan enthusiasts out there. Probably one of the coolest builds out there in terms of just how the gun looks. Full tan furnishings, tactical devices, canted sights. This is one of those guns you'd see in a trailer from BSG when they want to release like a new map or like an arena trailer or something. Genuinely some awesome stuff here. Here's the build and the shopping list. Now, some people will definitely swap out the ACOG for something else, but I promise you this thing is very functional and more importantly fun to use. I didn't add the additional RMR on top of the scope, because some years ago, BSG nerfed the RMR into oblivion. It wags and wobbles way too much to be considered reliable anymore, which is a shame because it was one of my favorite micro dots in the entire game. So putting the canted delta point should make the gun feel much more comfortable. Even though I would love to use the RMR, 
Sadly, it's just bad now. And I don't see any hope of it getting adjusted back anytime soon, which is a really big shame. And for the final build, probably the most interesting one that I have created today, a very long range DMR style M4. Focusing on the ability to take people out at extreme distances while also still being fairly light and maneuverable. The scope choice here is the Hensolt 416 scope. Obviously, replace this with whatever you want, but I really would encourage anyone to try this scope. I did a video on it a while back, and I think it's a fantastic scope, especially for its price. Here's the build and shopping list. Again, none of these are going to be cheap. These are way more for those who have the rubles to just mess around with different builds and have fun. This might be my favorite one because of how different it is. It's not a 27 recoil laser beam that I always see people running around with. The M4 is so modular that it can fit a huge array of roles, one such being a dedicated long range lethal rifle. If you have any small amounts of M995 or SAIEP ammo laying around, this would be the most interesting opportunity to run that ammo so you have a very fast shooting very precise lethal M4 from range. The M4 is one of the most versatile weapons in all of Tarkov, and it's a complete shame and wasted opportunity that because of the poor balance of the game, the gun has been reduced to one, maybe two different builds that can be consistently successful. My goal here is to try and showcase that it isn't really the case for this gun. With a little bit of different style of play and a mental adjustment in how you handle your weapon, you can build the M4 almost however you want and still be successful in Tarkov. After all, it is a blank canvas in this game. Just use your imagination and build something that you think is both stylish and cool and effective, and you will be able to be successful in this game. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about different guns in the game and many ways you can build it to shoot other players in the face. I hope to see you in future ones.